You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options Welcome to the options playbook, the program where we break down cutting edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the options playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Ally Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. All right. Uh, we are getting into earnings season. Uh, at the end of the month, on the first, we have a couple of big names that are going to be announcing Apple, Google. Um, and I want to take a little bit of a different approach. Uh, I'm going to go out a little bit further in time, usually after the FANG stocks uh, go out and announce, like uh, uh, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google, or otherwise known as Alphabet. Those are the FANG stocks. And they are looking to announce beforehand. So we're going to look at strategies a little closer to those stocks at that point in time. But today, I want to look at a calendar trade around earnings on a big company, and on a volatile company. And that stock is actually Tesla. So instead of playing Tesla earnings, which is, to me, even more volatile than any, any of the FANG stocks, period, it's just a, a very crazy stock, um, I like to try to harve on that volatility as it goes into earnings. And if I, if I look at Tesla as of today, so right now Tesla uh, on the close and we're taping Options Playbook Radio as of the 24th of January. And Tesla closed today at $345.89. It is down $6.90 uh, today. So in general, we know that this underlying can really move. A $6 move isn't a very big move in that underlying. Uh, we know that they're going to be announcing earnings. Uh, as of right now, their uh, anticipated earnings date is February 24th. First, so we're going to look at the February 23rd expiration, and we're going to figure out, well, right now, the at-the-money straddle is over $30. It's, it's crazy. It's 30 days out, uh, and it's, uh, you know, 10% 10, 10 of the stock price or more. So all we're going to do is try to do a trade into earnings, and... Uh, they, they, they get fairly expensive on this underlying, but realizing that they think that a 30-point move on this underlying, more than 30 points, is very possible out until that expiration date, we're going to go about 30 points away. So what we're going to do is, and I literally just flip a coin on this one, uh, if you want to do it to the downside or do it to the upside, but we're going to look at the 300 strike in Tesla. Uh, that 300 strike with the stock at 345.89 is trading at an implied volatility of about 46%. And obviously, we're just going to round off here, but it's about $45 out of the money. 
And what our goal here is to do a calendar spread. And we're going to hope that the implied volatility on the month that we are buying is going to increase as that expiration approaches. And then we're going to sell uh, option contract earlier that we are hoping will decrease in implied volatility. So uh, the contract that we are buying is 30 days away, the February 18th, or I'm sorry, the February 23rd expiration date. And then we're going to go a little bit shorter. We're going to look at the February 9th expiration. The February 9th expiration is trading at a lot lower volatility. And we see, and that uh, has 16 days remaining until expiration. But implied volatilities are still fairly high on that underline. They're around 40%. So as expiration approaches, we're hoping that the implied volatility of the near-term option will start to decrease, and the implied volatility of the further-term option will start to increase in price. So uh, right now, that 300-strike option contract with the markets closed, like I said, and today is Wednesday, the 24th of January, uh, we could do this entire trade for a $2.29 credit right at the midpoint. And if that option contract actually expires uh, on the shorter term month, uh, our ideal goal here would be that the stock would start drifting down towards that 300 level and not go beyond that. If it does get to 300 any time before that expiration date, we're just going to close the trade and get out. We don't want to take the risk of it continuing on down. Now, if it goes on up, obviously we have a, a lot of risk on the upside if this underlying continues to go on up. But we do have the benefit that we think implied volatility will continue to increase as we approach that ginormous earnings date in Tesla. So the, the uh, 300 strike put right now at the midpoint is trading at $3.25. Um, and the one that we are selling in the near term is trading at approximately, and I'm just rounding off here at the midpoint of about 90 cents. So we're giving ourselves, we're, we're basically getting into this very expensive put that's 45 points out of the money at a reasonable price by bringing by selling some of that juice in that near term option. Now, this is a total 30 day trade. If the market comes down and it gets down to 300 over the life of this trade, we would expect it to to get a, a, a not a home run, but obviously a very profitable trade relative in that if the near-term option expires worthless and we just look at where Tesla is at right now on that 30-day option contract, we see that uh, that option in that February 23rd expiration, 345 strike put is trading at the midpoint around $16. So I find this to be an interesting trade. We don't have a lot of risk up front. We're getting uh, a, a little bit of benefit for us, but it's one of the calendar trades where if you can get it to slowly go down towards that 300 level, that you can make some trade before the earning announcement at all. My ideal scenario would be that we could get out of this trade before the front month actually expired. All right. Now, I also have to let you know that this is not meant to be a recommendation. This is definitely a scary stock to be trading in. And if you've never done a calendar trade, specifically, we're trying to trade vol more than price movement. If we're dead wrong on the forecast and the market continues on up and goes up 45 points, well, yeah, we could lose what we invested. But in Tesla, for us to be able to put on a trade for uh, $2.30, $2 $230 per one-by-one one calendar spread, uh, you know, that, that's very cheap for this underlying. And it's just a cheap shot at uh, Tesla going into earnings. Now, if you want to do it on the call side, feel free. 
if you want to go and look at the call 45 points out of the money or at 40 points out of the money on the upside, just as long as you keep the strikes the same, you can do this exact same strategy and be bullish on that trade. Now, what's good about this trade here is that we're going to be able to come back and check on it as we get into earnings. Uh, coming up, as I said, at the end of the month, we're going to have some big stocks. We'll look at some option strategies around the big stocks. But a lot of times you got to set an alert, and this is a, a great timing to look at a calendar spread on a very volatile stock around earnings exactly 30 days out. So the formula here is that you sell something 15 days out, buy something 30 days out. That 30-day out option contract contains earnings. You think the implied volatility is going to go up, and you hope the stock kind of stays neutral going into that trade and that that front month option contract just expires worthless. And if you get a little bit of a drift down on a very volatile stock like this, this can be a profitable trade for you. All right. Well, that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. If you have a topic you'd like us to discuss in the show or a question you'd like us to answer in the program, you can send them directly to me at theoptionsguy at invest.ally.com. That's the options with an S, guy at invest.ally.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook was brought to you by Trade King Group. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to TradeKing.com slash ODD to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through TradeKing LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider, or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.